Hi, this is Chad. If you are using Twilio for anything, you'll want to take a look at this uh, plugin. It, you, it allows you to set up warnings, notifications, and even suspend accounts um, based on certain triggers and limits that are set by you. So let's say you have a, uh, a client that uses uh, their monthly limit is a thousand text messages in a month. You can set up a Trigger. I, I've called this plugin uh, Twiggers, uh, Twilio for Twilio triggers. But um, the way it works is uh, when they reach their limit, uh, email is sent off, and you can op and optionally also suspend their sub account if that's what you want to do. That will cause their account to uh, their Twilio account to neither send or receive text messages, phone calls, all that type of stuff. So let me show you how this is set up inside of WordPress. What you do is create a new Twigger uh, record, and you would enter your Twilio settings here as usual. You have an account SID and token, and then once you've done that, you can switch between all the sub accounts <coughs> on your on, under your main account. And so this it's important to set up when you have clients using uh, your Twilio account. You want to, to make sure you put them in sub accounts. Each one should be in a sub account. And the reason is for things like this, it's easy to turn on or off their sub account. Now, this plugin works with any, it doesn't matter, it just is an interface to Twilio. It's not dependent upon other plugins, it doesn't work with any other plugins, it's its own uh, system. And so, let's say what I've done here is I've set up some test, test uh, triggers or twiggers for. Um, uh, this auto repair shop sub account and so uh, just in my playing around here I've set a monthly SMS limit I set the limit to five obviously that's very low but uh, I'm only at six currently so this in parentheses here it shows you the current uh, usage uh, for the given period so for SMS messages a count a monthly count of uh, five and what do I want to do? Do I want to suspend their account? I'm saying no. And do I want to send an email? Say yes. And uh, this shows me if the trigger has been fired or when the last time it's been fired. <clears throat> and then uh, you can delete it as well. So if I click on this one, for example, it shows up down here. And there's where I give it the name. I give it any name I want to describe it. Uh, you pick from any of these categories. You can monitor the phone calls. Uh, the SMS messages, the phone numbers, recordings, transcriptions, and total price. So uh, <clears throat> this is where you would enter the total number of messages. So you, maybe it's uh, 5,000 messages in a month that you're setting the limit to. And then you can uh, set the period. So it's 5,000 messages in a month. And uh, check the box if you want it to suspend the account if it reaches this limit so you might do something like maybe their limits 5,000 and you have a trigger for that but maybe you say well I'll, I'll give them a little leeway if they can go up to 5,500 before I'll suspend their account so what you do is set up another trigger at 5,500 and then you can choose it to suspend it at that point so um, then uh, here's where you set your email settings if you want to send an email you might just want to send an email to yourself <clears throat> so let's say you just for your own usage um, you want to know if you're going over certain amounts so you might want to do something like um, um, monitor the total price so if I go in here it's created just a new trigger um, <clears throat> I, want, I want to say my, I'm just going to call it daily price monitor or whatever trigger. So uh, the total price on my account, if if I spend more than say fifty dollars in a, on a given day, that's something is probably not right. At least in my this account I'm testing with. Um, so I would say fifty dollars. So these are new, uh, anything where you see a price, it's going to be in U.S. dollars. So fifty dollars and a day, so daily. <clears throat> Maybe you don't spend very much in a month. So if you if your price gets over fifty dollars in a month, then you want to set fire this trigger. Let's go ahead and just use daily, 
and what I want to do is I just want to send myself an email you can actually leave the from blank if you want um, let's see daily uh, let's see fifty dollars sugar fired okay so um, check your Twilio account okay so <clears throat> now with this particular sub account this only is I've, I've set this up for the sub account so if my um, if my daily um, price my total dollar spent goes up to 50 for this account I'm gonna get an, an email that just says um, you know, hey, you better check your account. It's at fifty dollars right now. So, uh, you can set these triggers up however you want. It's, um, I mean, there's a lot of uses for it. So, again, this works on Twilio, and it works best if you have sub accounts created inside of Twilio. Let me show you what happens if an account is actually suspended. So, um, let's go ahead uh, and click on this monthly SMS limit. We'll get the limit set to five. Uh, they add the zeros here. Don't worry about that. Um, and I want to suspend the, the account. So if I save this, it's going to reset this trigger. So you'll see the date fired will go away. Um, so if I save this, it essentially creates a new trigger. The old one is, is eliminated. So uh, we have uh, five, um, where to go? Okay, there it is. Um, so now that you see that the date fired has been cleared and that yes, it's going to suspend and yes, it'll send an email once this limit is reached. So what I can do is um, I want to pause it and send a text message into my system real quick. Okay, I fired off a text message into my um, uh, into this phone number that's related to this you know sub account and uh, because the triggers won't you can set a trigger but if there's no activity so even though I set the trigger to five and we're at six it won't actually fire the trigger until something else happens on the account like so if I send a new SMS that's when it's gonna actually fire or look at the trigger so if I refresh this we should see that we now have the date fired you see that this the date uh, I've incremented up to seven as far as my current usage the limits five I'm currently at seven and here's the date and time at, at uh, G and GMT um, uh, when that trigger is fired and you'll also note that this account is currently suspended you so you get the message so if I switch to uh, another account like my main uh, my master account we'll see a couple triggers here uh, but there's no message about being suspended. It's only this uh, sub account that's been suspended automatically. So now, if you have a, a client that's kind of run away with not, um, you know, maybe they sent way too many text messages or whatever, um, you can automatically suspend them when they hit their limits. And uh, you can, of course, send them an email that says, "Hey, contact me," or fill out this form. Here's a link. Whatever, you, whatever system you're using. And then once they've done whatever you need them to do, you can come in here and unsuspend their account. So if I click this, uh, the account is now active again. So um, anyway, there's, uh, again, a lot of uses for this. And uh, it, it's overall pretty simple. Uh, you just set the trigger and tell it what to do. Uh, send an email or sus and or suspend the account. And uh, again, it'll work with pretty much any any uh, Twilio account. Um, it uh, works with any. It works hand in hand with any other plugins. So whether you have an SMS plugin of mine, uh, two-way SMS or, or reminder plugin or whatever, uh, even other people's uh, systems, uh, whether or not I mean it could be even be Open VBX based system. It doesn't really matter. This. Um, works independent of all those things so and then of course to create a new a new trigger in here twigger you would hit add new and uh, all you do is enter your um, 
Twilio account details in there and then once you do that hit publish and then any sub accounts and they will show up down below here set up your triggers and you're good to go alright thanks